everybody it's Arabella again I'm doing a flip of my book it's finally um, ready <laughs> just about ready because I every time I see something I want to change something so well uh, and I also found some charms which are old earrings and I thought it looked really nice with this book uh, because it's a little bit vintage again <laughs> also found uh, a few of these uh, light uh, purple uh, pearls like beads <laughs> and um, yeah maybe if I find some more I will uh, definitely put them on and also this inspiration um, little paper I think I'm going to put it in the book uh, I found also a necklace and with a very nice uh, a charm on it well it's a charm now <laughs> so I always like to put something with butterflies even though in the fabric uh, there are butterflies I really love butterflies and on this side I did it like this with a little uh, rose and a little natural looking I like sort of a natural vintage kind of look so these uh, bright little bit too too silvery like uh, hearts but still I liked it because I had this old um, key with it so and then with these fibers and then I thought it looked really good and on the on the back side um, I have uh, one little charm it's uh, a rose and a little bit of copper like color of the metal and just uh, put it onto a tag which is in the book so this can be removed if uh, that's uh, possible <laughs> well it's possible so let me open it and show you what I did also the closure is just a bow it's loose and the sides I kept like this a little bit crunchy <laughs> and I did put a little bit of um, ink onto it to make it not as white because this is a little bit cream and well on the first page I kept it a little bit plain because I really love this uh, fabric and uh, yeah the picture of the fabric so I really like this idea and for the ones who uh, watched my previous video it adhered really good so I was a little bit afraid if this uh, wouldn't attach the right way and I pushed and I pressed <laughs> but in the end uh, well I just ha had to have a little bit of more patience and um, I got a little bit nervous <laughs> in the video <laughs> that it wouldn't adhere but well it did really adhere really well so so that's not a problem at all uh, thank goodness <laughs> So let me put it down. It's really big. Let me show you. <laughs> the more I put into it, the bigger it gets because of the short pages and the long pages together. And then I put also all these fibers and it's just twine that I unraveled. And with the different colors, I really like that look. So I wanted to have a little bit of a old grungy look <laughs> vintagey <laughs> a little bit of a combination really so let me show you <coughs> excuse me some pages are left a little bit plain so uh, you can put, put put pictures into it or something 
And here I found this in a magazine. I really love this uh, this look too. It was already uh, like it was inked, <laughs> something like that. So here I made an envelope out of something uh, different, also from uh, Genevieve Designs. Um, the Southern Charm. All the purple things you see in this. A book uh, is all from her kit so her um, well I could, I could uh, uh, explain a little bit more but I want to show it <laughs> so here I have a tag this is from the graphic fairy I have to make the hole and I left this plain because it's uh, uh, it's um, recycled cardstock I still have some left so I wanted to use that and here is a short page and this is a, a little piece from a book so like that here is from the southern charm again and a place to write to journal and here are the lined pages and I inked all around the edges because I love that. I love that look. So, And here I could make a pocket. I, I thought about it to make a pocket. I could do it. but And here it could be the other way around. So that's a little bit different. Here I made it uh, really different also. I really love this. <laughs> Look at this. This is an envelope and I took off the lid of the envelope and here's a journaling card. It's a little bit lit. I don't know if I put something. I think I did. Well, wait for it. <laughs> yeah, it's also from the fabric. I uh, made it. I didn't ink the edges yet I forgot something oh no <laughs> well um, here I put a tag also but I have to get make the hole and um, yeah I didn't uh, I li left it this twine like this so this the twine on the sides of the book all look like this just as normal twine and but all the colors and then I made it loose, so just unraveled it uh, really, so that I could create this look that I love. So, in this book, I chose to make it a little bit of a, uh, a different look with all the short pages in between the long pages. Here I did something different too. This is uh, from a book that I got it and I uh, used the cover of the book and the inside I chose to use for this book also. And here I let it go to the other side, so into this uh, booklet sort of. <laughs> I really love this look also, so yeah, journaling and here the purple beautiful pages from the Southern Charm again. And here I uh, made it a little bit of a line and this is a background paper of that same Southern Charm, so and the back side. And here I made a tab with some of the fibers. And because the tab was so long, I made the fibers a little bit more short. So like this. Here you can see the fabric. I really printed it out and enlarged the print from, that I made from the fabric that's on the cover. So like that. And some of the pages, I think it's a little bit too plain, but... I love the coffee dyed paper and I didn't flatten them out. I left them a little bit crinkly. <laughs> and here is the next uh, signature. I'll get this a little bit up so that I can lay it flat. 
and here you can see the flower that I found on the internet. It was a free image that I could use. And um, yeah, I really loved it with the doilies uh, peeping out on the sides. And it's a little bit bold and big, but because I manipulated the paper before I stuck it down, it keeps, uh, uh, yeah curling up so to speak so and here I made a pocket like that so here's an envelope also and here I stuck down an envelope and here's the envelope from the same um, Southern Charm and inside I put this and I didn't uh, back this up with anything because I couldn't decide what I should do with it uh, but I don't think I will keep it white, but this is from a letter also from the Southern Charm, so everything that's a little bit purple is from the Southern Charm, but not all the papers, coffee dyed paper, and I also used, of course, the fabric to, um, to uh, make the signatures also. So uh, all but the middle and this with the doilies is also from the Southern Charm from Genevieve Designs. Here I did something I saw with Gibbet Neri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly because we only have, uh, we only talk to each other uh, with writing. <laughs> so I never heard her say her name, her last name, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> So I'm sorry, but she is really inspiring me to do something also with see-through and oh, she does it so beautifully. You should check her out and I will put the link down below. I also have her on my channel on the right hand side with the extra uh, talented ladies uh, section. You can look it up if you want. <laughs> Uh, this is from Artie Mays. I purchased that on um, uh, Etsy. Artie Mays is really uh, amazing too. <laughs> she makes the beautiful, beautiful uh, papers and you can print them out over and over again. Just like the Southern Charm of course. And here is a doily. I got it from the internet. I just cut it out and uh, it's not attached, only with uh, this paper clip. And here I have a new idea. I, I also purchased the top, top note, excuse me, from uh, Genevieve Designs. And the top note, I really love the, the shapes. And I had this gutted book, uh, as I told you, and with uh, the papers, and I was staring at the papers and staring at the papers. And then it came to me, I wanted to make a little top notebook <laughs> in an A5 size. And I also definitely am really inspired by Leslie Claire Jones. Oh, I should have wrote her name down, but uh, I will put her link down below. Leslie, also really, really talented lady. So I think I got it from her. She is really... Uh, good at, um, uh, yeah, almost I would say an expert about making everything small and make it look really good. So this is my idea. I think I'm going to, uh, I did print it out, but then with black, because you can change it up, change it up. It's, uh, it's brown normally, these lines, and then you can print it on whatever you want. So... This is what I decided to do. Let's see if I have it with me so I can, yeah, it's beside me. Oh, I forgot, totally forgot about that. I also printed out some other papers uh, di directly onto, uh, and here it is. This is the top note that I bought a few months ago, two months maybe. And here is uh, some of the pages, and I also have uh, these images. 
um, she's called Tsunami Rose, yes. I really love her images too, her digital uh, kits, and I also bought a lot of her stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's really the look that I really love with the purple. She al also loves purple, purple, I think. So I'm going to uh, combine them together, I think. So let's see if I have some more. No, it's just the same thing. And this is also from the internet. Escapes me. I think the graphic fairy I got this from. But this is really a good idea. And I wanted to do a flip, but now I'm showing you all these kinds of things. So I'm going to flip some more. <laughs> Here I made a tab and also with the fibers and here's again a little short um, insert <laughs> and that's how I did it. It was an idea and I just tried it so some people don't like that this chopped look but I wanted to try it and I, I definitely uh, I'm learning, so I'm just a beginner. Here I put this uh, sort of an envelope trifle thingy. <laughs> That's why I don't know everything. But uh, well, everybody starts somewhere, right? So here's a uh, brown paper bag. I really loved it, and this is uh, also from the. Um, Southern Charm and this uh, I inked it a little bit and with paper on it on the inside but you can journal um, over it so this is the middle of uh, this here I put this paper again and I left it uh, crooked on purpose so that it sticks out and here uh, is another piece of that other paper that I love. So, so then you can journal. There's loads, loads, loads of room to journal <laughs> and to get uh, put pictures into it. Or uh, well, you can do everything with it, really. Here I cut it a little bit round. Just to try, also to try. And here's the other side of that beautiful paper from Artie Mays. I love this look also. It's pink, but well, it goes together, I think. Here I got some vellum and I stuck it down like that. And I can, I made this. I just took a picture and laid down some of these butterflies that I cut out. Those are the ones. I made a border with uh, with these uh, thingies <laughs> and laid it onto a book. And then I, um, well, you can see here is from the book. You can see the the letters and then I stuck down one of these in between the top uh, cover like that and then I took a picture and now I have a journaling card which I I'm just um, yeah trying and then you can journal on, on the back side but the back side's not ready so I'm just showing you you the front side <laughs> like that and this is also from a paper pad, this paper. Uh, here I also did something different. So from a library uh, pocket, I stuck it down, but then you can't see it because I didn't ink this uh, line. So now it seems like only this is stuck down. So I thought that was a little bit funny, so I made here and made it into tuck spot. I don't know if I'm keeping this in this book, it's so different, but well, I thought it was a little bit, uh, yeah, plain, too plain, so I wanted to 
make something different. Here's the coffee dyed paper, and uh, here I did something on the back side. I stuck that down. This is a pocket from the Southern Charm, and I didn't do anything on the inside, but this is onto this um, cardstock recycled, so so I didn't mind. Ah, the stair, I just have seen it, because I had something onto here and I just pulled it off. Well, I will have to repair that. Oh, that's too bad. And my, oh, everything is downstairs, but well, I, I will put something onto it. And on the other side, let's say something like this with inspiration. And then it's uh, a little bit fixed. Now I, I'm looking around, but I can't fix it. Usually I want to fix it right away if I see something. But well, with this coffee dyed paper, it's a little bit fragile, so. Oh, that's really too bad. Well, uh, I will leave this in the middle and then I will uh, fix it. So, moving on. <laughs> Not too bad. I can fix it. So, here I uh, put the envelope and the letter. And this is how it looks, like that. When you do it the right way. The other side, I had it. I, ha I have it as a journaling uh, card. You can also do it like this, or make this uh, a page when it's a small book. When you make it a small book, so I like that. So with the twine, <laughs> I like that. And here also, these are tags, as you can see, and I uh, left it as a page. So, uh, here I stuck down one of the envelopes, also from the Southern Charm, and this is from the internet. It's a uh, wrinkled fabric, and I really love that. I left the other side open, I just only uh, stuck down these sides. So now you have enough room to put something uh, behind it. And yeah, I really love this look. So let's move on because the video is getting too long. It's always getting so long. I'm really chatty. <laughs> and this like that. And I always want to explain everything how I did. <laughs> it's just funny. Here I have a little bit of a waterfall, faux waterfall going on, so like that. And on the other side, you can see it over there. I really I like this idea, so this idea came to me when, uh, in another shape because my mom's um, book that I made, it is also the top note, uh, I made it from small to bigger, so and I made that differently, um, like a saddle stitch. So, and then you you saw the pages from small to bigger to bigger to bigger, and that look I really loved. And then I tried something like that, but like this. So, that's the middle, and I want to put some charms. That's why I kept it this a little bit long. A also a little bit of the waterfall idea <laughs> going on on the inside and this is a pocket like that and here I made a little bit of a collage this is really the front um, of that southern charm so that's how it's how it's supposed to look but I really wanted to try something really different I always uh, think outside the box, as you call it. So this is also from the from the book, from the inside. And I did make some holes, a little bit crooked. <laughs> so I wanted to. I think I'm going to do something with that. I don't know what yet. 
Here I made a pocket that I showed you that idea. I had a triangle, it's really old lace, and that I put onto cardstock uh, printed. And now I have a pocket on this side and on the other side. It's also a really neat idea. And here I left this in, although the corner was already burnt off in the oven. <laughs> but I really like that. So here is the tag with the charm onto it. And I really didn't do anything with this. Just cut it out and ink all around it. And the back side is still white. It's another tab. You know, with nothing on it and like this and the back side is like that so with, <laughs> with that eyelet trim is what it's called eyelet trim and this uh, is uh, just uh, stretchy uh, lace trim so this is it I will show you this once again all the yumminess <laughs> as uh, we call it so I don't know if this this is really done but I thought well it's almost Christmas and I will show it so so I think it's almost most uh, it's almost done and I will fix that one boo-boo <laughs> that uh, that I found well I'm losing this <laughs> Well, this uh, I can fix really quickly. Yeah, already done. Well, I will see you in the next video. And in the next video, I'm going to show you some Christmassy stuff that I, that I am working on. Presents and also, yeah, presents. It's all presents. <laughs> Okay, well, I will see you in the next video, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Doodoo. -bye. Bye. Doodoo. -bye. Doodoo. -bye.